Story number one. There's something about Dave. Jack Flipper is a thick, throbbing and considerate stripper from your mum. His life is going nowhere until he meets Dave Cushty, a juicy, alluring man with a passion for cock. Jack takes an instant disliking to Dave and the cum slut and loose ways he learnt during his years in your dad's dangly ballsack. However, when a bank manager tries to not pull out Jack, Dave springs to the rescue. Jack begins to notice that Dave is actually rather jiggly at heart. But the pressures of Dave's job as an accountant leave him blind to Jack's affections and Jack takes up reforming the Soviet Union to try and distract himself. Finally, when football fan assassin hired by the new Communist Party of Belgium, Claudia Cheeks, threatens to come between them, Dave has to act fast. But will they ever find the deep love that they deserve? Story number two, 2765, year of a collective of rich pricks. TikTok has destroyed the world as we know it. The year is 2765. State of rich bastards is a corrupt beyond all hope place ruled by a collective of rich pricks. Once glorious, Stonehenge is now a knick-knack store run by gypsies. Just once a cheeseburger, goddammit, I've been waiting 40 minutes, where's my goddamn cheeseburger? Gunrunner Miss Chantelle Gribbons is humanity's only hope. Chantelle finds the courage to start a revolutionary organisation called Collective Liaison Interrogators Trusted Overly Respectfully with Using Scented Candles. The fight is jeopardised when Chantelle is tricked by fundamentally unlikable bailiff Lord Cockhold and injures her brain. Armed with elite nudes of rich bastards and a giant fighting mech, collective liaison interrogators trusted overly respectfully with using scented candles try their best to save mankind. But can they defeat scum, a collective of rich pricks, and restore Stonehenge to its former glory? Story number three. Greedy Emos. What would you do if you knew there were greedy emos with shocking habits near the ones you love? The night of the funeral of Chuck Norris changes everything for Olaf Benson, a 31-year-old fisherman from Bussy. One moment he is discussing cars with his gentle cousin, Sandra Jane. The next, watching with horror as greedy emos slap around the face with a fish each other. He knows these emos come from the White House, but can't prove it. At least not without some burning dildos. The lovable cute man knows that his depressing life is over. Hello darkness, my old friend. He acquires some burning dildos and is reborn as the hero who will save the world from greedy emos. However, when Sandra calls, begging him to come home, Olaf is forced to decide what is more important, stopping the greedy emos that slap around the face with fish each other, or preserving his relationship with his cousin. Story number four, the Mangled Arms. Mangled arms have been turning up all over Scotland and the inhabitants are scared. Ten murders in ten weeks, all committed with a light machine gun, and still nobody has a clue who the cowardly killer is. Big schlong champion William Little is an average and special builder with a fondness for comedy. He doesn't know it yet, but he is the only one who can stop the hungry killer. When his one night stand, Cass Andrews is kidnapped. Big schlong champion Little finds himself thrown into the centre of the investigation. His only clue is a bendy Playboy magazine. He enlists the help of a loving dentist called Richard Huge. Can Huge help Little overcome his heroin addiction and find the answers before the tactless killer and his deadly light machine gun strike again? Story number five. Pound of a cat boy. Brad Smithton suspected something was a little off when his short father tried to pound him when he was just six years old. Nevertheless, he lived a relatively normal life among other humans. It wasn't until he bumped into the devilishly pink cat boy Trevor Tight that his life finally began to make sense. However, Trevor proved to be modest and seemed to have an unhealthy obsession with railing. Brad soon learned that Trevor had taken an oath never to get jiggy with a human being. When Brad's short father is injured in a not sufficiently douching accident, Brad realises his own life is at risk. Despite Trevor's tight bussy and soft ears, Brad finds himself falling for the cat boy. Only fate will decide whether he kills or protects him. One night, an incel appears before Brad and warns him of the darkness within Trevor. The incels give Brad a moist cleaver, the only weapon that can defeat the pink cat boy. Will Brad find it in himself to kill the only creature who has ever made him feel truly full? Hint, yes. Like and subscribe, motherfuckers.